Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Lesson 89. These are our review ideas for today from Lesson 77. I am entitled to miracles. I am entitled to miracles because I am under no laws but God's. His laws release me from all grievances and replace them with miracles. And I would accept the miracles in place of the grievances which are but illusions that hide the miracles beyond. Now I would accept only what the laws of God entitle me to have, that I may use it on behalf of the function he has given me. You might use these suggestions for specific applications of this idea. Behind this is a miracle to which I am entitled. Let me not hold a grievance against you. Assert the name of the person but offer you the miracle that belongs to you instead. Seen truly, this offers me a miracle. From Lesson 78, let miracles replace all grievances. By this idea do I unite my will with the Holy Spirit's and perceive them as one. By this idea do I accept my release from hell. By this idea do I express my willingness to have all my illusions be replaced with truth, according to God's plan for my salvation. I would make no exceptions and no substitutes. I want all of heaven and only in heaven, as God wills me to have. Useful specific forms for applying this idea would be, I would not hold this grievance apart from my salvation. Let our grievances be replaced by miracles. Insert the name. Beyond this is the miracle by which all my grievances are replaced. This is a, a beautiful review lesson. It's so core to the Course in Miracles, to the workbook for students, because it gets to the core of it. When we are in conflict with someone, we are imagining hell. It doesn't make hell real, but you're experiencing it. So it's perceptually real, and you're, you're creating it for yourself internally in that moment. And remember, the ego cares more about being right than being happy. The ego cares more about being right than being kind. The ego cares more about being right than being reverent for other life. The ego cares more about power than it does about purpose. And we're moving away from that. And the Course is helping us move away from that. So we can let go of the ego's perceived need to be right and to dominate and to be better than or worse than and instead to simply be as your true authentic self which is love which already is powerful which already has authentic power authentic strength it doesn't need to puff itself up the true self doesn't need to puff up and pretend and yell and manipulate and strategize. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Remember that after we do these reviews, sit with it, sit with it for a few minutes and see how it might apply to you and how you can apply this today. Just stay in a gentle, relaxed state of awareness. Let spirit bring inspiration to your heart. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow for lesson 90.